Hi guys, this is Feynman Education, and today we are going through Chemistry Paper One IGCSE、um, for the January twenty twenty two examination together.、Um, okay, so let's first go to question one. So this question is about mixtures and compounds. They have given us、uh, four methods used to separate mixture, and our job is to match this method with one of the prompts below. So the first prompt is to identify a method to separate a single food dye from a mixture of food dyes.、Um, so the f- the answer is chromatography, and the. Why the answer is chromatography is because food dyes are the substances with different、um, solubilities.、Um, and the second problem is identify a method to separate gasoline from crude oil. So the answer to this question is fractional distillation.、Um, because here we have crude oil is a mixture of miscible liquids. Which mean liquid dissolve in liquid, so fractional distillation is a perfect method for this case.、Um, and then the third prompt we have identify a method to separate water from copper sulfate solution. The answer is simple distillation. Because water is a liquid that is being separated from copper sulfate, which is a soluble solid in a solution. Um, moving on to the part B of this question, so the diagram represents a molecule, and they ask us to explain why this molecule is a compound.、Um, so the definition of a compound is、uh, when it is a pure substance and is made up of two or more elements chemically bonded.、Uh, and so the answer for this question. We'll have to write two bullet points because it is a two mark question.、Um, so the first bullet point would be、uh, the fact that it is two different elements, because、um, the size of the two circles are different. And the second bullet point is that they have to be chemically bonded to each other. Okay, moving on to part C of this question. The molecular formula of another compound is C three H five N three O nine. In the first part, they ask to state the number of different elements in the same compound.、Uh, so each、uh, different capital letter is one different element. So here we have C H N and O. That means we have four different elements. You can just write four. Um, and then second part is to determine the number of atoms in a molecule of this compound.、Uh, so to count the number of atoms, we have to pay attention、uh, to the small numbers underneath.、Uh, so that means we have to add up all of them. It means three plus five plus three plus nine, and that comes up to twenty atoms. So you can just write out、uh, twenty. Okay, that's all of question one. And question two asks about rusting, and the simplified formula for rust is Fe two O three, and they ask you to name the two substances needed for iron to rust. So the process of rusting is a chemical reaction between iron, water, and oxygen to form iron three oxide. And the experiment that people usually do is to put an iron nail into、um, a tube of water. Um, for them to react. Based on the definition, the two substances、uh, we can write here is water and oxygen, or you can also write air for oxygen.、Um, that also count as one mark. And then the second part, they ask to give the chemical name for rust.、Uh, and here we, in the same definition, we can see that it's、uh, Fe two O three. So that means you can write iron three oxide. Um, but you could also write added the hydrated because there is water. Okay, next question、um, asks what type of reaction occurs in the rusting of iron.、Uh, so we can see that in the definition it goes from iron to iron three oxide. That means the oxidation state 
goes from zero to three plus. So that means the type of reaction when uh, the oxidation state of a compound of uh, an element is changing is the oxidation reaction. So here, uh, answer C is correct. Okay, moving on to question B. Some iron objects are coated with a layer of zinc to prevent rusting and name this type of rust prevention. Um, so this type of rust prevention is called galvanizing or you can also write galvanization. Um, this is a process where you um, coat iron with a metal that is more reactive than iron to prevent iron from reacting with oxygen and water. And then the second part asks to explain how this type of rust prevention continues to protect iron when the layer of zinc is damaged. Uh, okay, so this related to knowledge in the reactivity series subtopic. So in the reactivity series, they rank different type of metals in terms of the, its reactiveness or reactivity. And zinc is higher in the rank than iron. So the first reason is that zinc is more reactive. And because it is more reactive, it reacts with oxygen and water first. Uh, so then to, to prevent iron from reacting, uh, the second bullet point we can write is that zinc reacts before iron. Okay, um, so moving on to the last part of question two. So give two other methods used to prevent iron from rusting. Uh, so usually they have two main methods. So the first method is to coat iron with something uh, to act as a barrier uh, from to prevent the contact between iron and oxygen and water. So that's either plastic painting or oil greasing. Uh, and this is, again, is called barrier method. And the second uh, main method that people use is sac sacrificial protection or cathodic protection. And this method is uh, to coat metals, to coat the iron with metals that are more reactive than iron. So that means any metal that is higher than iron in the reactivity series.